Yo, what's going on Texas High School Football? I'm Coach Chris Barner with Overtime Athletes. And for today's video, what I want to discuss is speed training for football, right? You're in the off season. How do you actually start to develop your speed so that when it comes in season, you're actually a faster athlete? Well, first and foremost, you need to get a baseline. I love 10. I know the standard is the 40 yard dash. Make sure that you track your times, right? So beginning of off season, you wanna track your 10, your 20, and your 40 yard dash, and then you're gonna measure that at the end. Then when you, as far as setting up your actual program, here's my approach when it comes to actually de uh, developing your linear speed. Not change of direction, what you see on the field, straight line speed. So first and foremost, you need to focus on jumping, okay? And you need to focus on jumping horizontally, which is like a broad jump, and vertically, essentially a vertical jump. Why? Because your first 10 yards right, a horizontal or a broad jump, that force directly translates over to acceleration, all right? You're applying horizontal force moving forward. So if I can increase an athlete's broad jump, I can actually make them faster in their first 10 yards. Beyond that, vertical jump directly translates over to top speed, anything over that 15 yards where the athlete is cycling and completely upright. So if I can increase an athlete's vertical jump, I can increase their top speed, okay? Then, once you've addressed those plyometrics throughout your off season, I say focus on each one individually, uh, one, one day for each. Then when it comes to actually developing your top speed, I say you wanna break it down into another two days. You're gonna focus on acceleration, right a heavy dose of that which is your first 10 yards that's that first step quickness and your explosion you're constantly doing that whether you're breaking whether you're a wide receiver coming off the line a running back hand in the dirt if you're in the trenches everything is that first burst so you want to do a lot of ground starts a lot of half kneeling starts where it's all out for those first two three steps all the acceleration drills you can perform on one day on your second day, and this is depending on your actual um, position, I wouldn't do this for, you know, trench guys, offense, uh, defense alignment, but I would for your skill positions is have a separate day for max velocity, and this is your top speed, and essentially what we're gonna work on is creating a better cyclical motion when the athlete's upright. So when one guy strikes, if you're a DB, you can hawk him down, or if you get loose, you can essentially not get caught or, or hawked down, all right? So there you have it. That's exactly how I do it. So I break it up into four days, two jumping days, right? Probably day one and day three, then two speed days. And then that's not even incorporating the multi-directional speed that you have to get working as well. So I hope that helps. Four days of training, two powers, two plyometrics, right? And then two days of speed, A-cell and top speed. I'll hot you guys next time.